What is up everybody? This is Eric B with Prime 29 back with you again with another car review. Today we're reviewing the 2018 Chevy Traverse. Alright guys, today we're going to start off with the color of the new Traverse. Uh, the color is called Cajun Red Tin Coat, uh, which is a really nice color. It's got the metallic coming out and, and, it, and you guys will really love this color. Your front grille down here, which is plastic, but it also has your chrome lines going across. So it's pretty, it looks pretty good for the 2018 Traverse. Onto the engine. This is a 3.6 liter V6 engine. And this is also a nine speed automatic, which is pretty fast for an SUV. Uh, going along with your headlights, it come, I love how it comes along the side of the car. Contour lines come also on the side. And then we come down here, you got this is plastic, this wheel well, and you have the size of the wheels, 255-65R18s. So these are 18 size tires and, uh, and 18 wheels. These are aluminum wheels, by the way. You also have your four disc wheel brakes. Also for the door handles, for the Traverse, they have the keyless entry. So you just press that button and it unlocks the door as long as you have your key in your pocket and you can open the door that way. And for those of you who don't know, it's a keyless entry, but the key has a spare key on the inside. You just press that button, the key comes out, you lift, there's a, a little opening under there and you just take the key, pull it, pop it out, and then you can just turn it in if your keyless entry doesn't work. Now we'll talk about the interior. First, we'll talk about the seats. The 1LT Traverse, has cloth seating and it looks it looks kind of cool actually it's not just your basic cloth it's like it looks like a, a jeans type of material and that's what it feels like exactly i know this is a cloth seat but this is also a heated cloth seat so if you guys are cold you could still do a heated seat adjustable lumbar on the side it moves eight eight different ways so you can move up, down, you know, forward, backward. Something else that uh, that's a benefit to you guys, the seat also goes in and out uh, for long drives. So it's good for long drives if, if you're uncomfortable with a certain way, you can go in, and then if you want it another way, you can go out and, and stuff like that. That helps your back, so. The interior also comes in leather if you want leather. also have your center console right here which this is pretty good it's not a leather and it's not a cloth it's like a soft rubber actually but this this benefits you because it's wide so it's good for the passenger and it's good for the driver for the driver because you don't want some hard plastic you're resting your elbow on it and you're driving long distance you know that's why this is good for you but it's also good for the passenger as well because they can put their elbow on it. It's not this little bitty armrest that you, uh, you know, you guys are fighting over. Um, but it's like a cloth that you can clean off, something like that. If you want to leave it out, it's plastic at the bottom. So that's all we have for that. Put that in there. And it shuts really easy. Then you have down here, this is a 1LT, so it's not an all wheel drive car, but you do have an option to get all-wheel drive but you do have your different modes you have your snow mode and you have your electric park brake right here which that's on all the chevy the new chevy cars now and suvs of course then up here this is it feels like a a leather this is a type of leather that they have right here and right here is like plastic but they have like it's coated with something so it's not it don't feel cheap 
but this right here it also has like a manual mode then up here you have your controls you have your heated windshield up front and then you have your real heated rear heated windshield and your controls your heating and cooling you control it from passenger side and the driver side then up here you have your your radio now this is a major benefit because you have more storage and it's really nice you have that screen and it lifts up you have the extra storage up in here you can also put your phone or your wallet in here or your keys anything uh, if you got something that you want to hide you can put that in there but it's really nice a USB outlet in there so if you forget your your charger or something like that you can plug it up in there you have two USBs down here as well along with your power outlet and you can also put a headphone jack right in here all right over here you got your your glove box over here uh, you got more storage in there not really much to talk about in there but you got plastic on the outside of that but then up here you have your uh, leather and it's soft to the touch you also have this uh, your stitching right here this color stitching and it give it a stylish feeling you know um, then you come up here it's plastic but it's like coated with something uh, so it doesn't feel so cheap or look so cheap then over here you got your leather as well it's soft to the touch as well then your steel wheel it's also leather and it's it's really soft steering wheel it's really nice so I, I feel like you guys would like this this steering wheel it goes along with the rest of the feel of the car the look of the car all right and then you have your your vents right here where your air comes out and everything they're pretty nice got this little chrome little piece on it uh, adds to the stylish look of the car then here on your door panels you also have that soft touch leather comes along the doors panels right here and then you have this metallic plastic right here it makes it style it adds to the stylish look of the car as well then you have your window controls and, and your mirror controls here on the side as well all right now over here on the driver's side this is what your dash looks like and everything you have 160 on the dash and uh, you have your fuel tank and your oil and everything and your rpms on this side this is also a push start as long as you have that key you push it to start it up all right guys now we're in the back of the traverse and you actually have a lot of space back here um, a lot of people talk about vans uh, you're gonna need a van you got a sports car you're gonna need a van you're gonna need a lot of space for your kids if you have kids this traverse has a lot of space in the back let's look back here we lift this up right here and it just leans forward anyone can get back here you can put a baby seat back here or anything like it has so much space I'm coming down the middle right here three people can sit in the back and then you come up to the front you got two seats right here so that's five people you have your cup holders you have uh, another little cup holder right here you also have USB charging station right here as well to charge your phone battery and on this side as well the seats lift up right here if you want it to sit that way or they lean back down this is a nice size window for the back you know you get some sunlight back here you're not just sitting in the dark and then they also tinted these windows on this on this traverse as well they tinted them in the back the fronts are lightly tinted but the backs are really tinted uh, so the sun don't burn the, the people the passengers riding in the back all right and another good thing is that you have your tri-level air uh, you can have air coming in the back all the way in the back and then you have air coming in the mid of the car and air coming in the front for the driver and the uh, passenger side uh, so that's a I, I know that's a good thing because when you're sitting in the back some sometimes they don't have these air th vents in the back and it can get hot but you don't have to worry about what that with the 2018 Chevy Traverse all right guys that was the trunk I just pressed this button right here if you got groceries in your hand or something like that all you got to do is press that button and it automatically comes up on the zone. All right, so here you got your, your weather mats. Your mat, it comes with your weather, weather mats for the uh, new cars. They're broken, so 
that's what I mean by rubber mats. If you can get the snow, you got water on your shoes or anything like that, these are good for not getting your carpet wet or dirty or anything like that. Then you have your storage. You just lift that up and you got a lot more storage. You can put groceries back here, uh, milk, anything up under here, and it's plastic. So you ain't gonna tear anything up. Also, guys, you can get it. Uh, you can get the net as an option. You just unhook these. I mean, hook these out right here. Hook the net onto it, so none of your stuff falls out when you open the door. So all in all, this is a good, decent size for a trunk space. If you need trunk space, if you don't have a lot of kids, you can also let this seat down, and it leans forward. You have more space. You just press this button, and it goes down on its own. I forgot to talk about the gas cap. This is a capless cap, and all you do is you just you open that, put your gas in there, and you close it back, and click it back in. That was the end of the video. All in all, this 2018 Chevy Traverse 1LT is a really nice car. And my wife seen it, and she loved it. So I know any women out there would love it, and even the guys. Instead of getting a van, get you a Traverse. You know, a lot of people tell me, uh, you're going to have to get rid of your muscle car. You're going to have to get rid of it when you have kids. And you're going to have to get a van. I told them I would never get a van. And if I did get anything, I would get this eight, this uh, this SUV right here. It's really nice. And it looks classy. So this is what I think you would be better off with instead of a van. Okay, guys. Hope I hope you enjoyed this review and comment below if you have any comments if you want me to review something else i can do that for you just comment below and until next time i'll see you in the next video next video i will be reviewing the carbon 65 corvette this is one beautiful corvette at first i thought it was just a white or something but it has like metallic in it it's really nice so on my next video this is what i will be reviewing i'll be doing a drive on this one